Okay, so a lot of people have been uh, having trouble uh, with this sort of region, right? So this region, uh, this is the range space for our random vector, right? And, um, right, in order to figure out what this C is, right, so I'm going to ask you, what is C? In order to figure out what C is, you have to integrate over this uh, range space. Okay, so one way to think about it is a sequential selection of points. Um, like I said, these three three dimensional regions, kind of tough to sketch, um, but this one's simple enough that we can think of it like this. Okay, so first I pick uh, x one, and so notice what we've got. So x one is positive. Now second, I pick x2. Well, x2 has got to be bigger than x1, all right? And then I pick x3, and we can see that x3 has to be bigger than x2, all right? All that is coming from this description right here. So this shorthand notation uh, for describing this region is actually pretty helpful. All right, so now, right, uh, in order uh, to figure out what C is, right, we integrate triple integral, triple integral over the range space of the density function, all right, with respect to all these guys. So I'll just do it like that. That's kind of a kind of not good notation, but just get us into this problem. Set it equal to 1, solve for C. Alright, so what does this look like? Um, so this guy first, number 1, that's going to give me my first limit here. Uh, then I get my second limit. Then I get my third limit. And remember when you do these, so you work from the outside in. So limit for x1, outside in, dx2, dx3, and then, right, we integrate the density function. Like I said, so x1 goes from 0 to infinity. And then x2, it's got to go from x1 to infinity. And then x3 goes from x2 to infinity. So notice right, these guys are linked, these guys are linked, these guys are linked. So I picked this first, that goes on the outside, second in the middle, third on uh, the furthest uh, inside. This is not the only way to do this, but it's it's one way to do it. All right. Um, let's look at this guy. There's an, another way to think about uh, finding this uh, marginal density function. All right. Uh, so, and I'm going to think of it like this. But once I pick the x1, I can actually draw a picture. All right. So, we got to pick x1. Uh, first, if we're doing a marginal density function for x1, we got to pick x1 first. So that actually tells me, right, uh, what my range space is uh, for x1, right? That tells me uh, that that's all x1 greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So now let's look at the what the picture looks like once we pick uh, x1. Let's take a look at this. All right, so remember we had this uh, we had this relationship here, right? We had zero less than or equal to x one, less than or equal to x two, less than or equal to x three, right? So x one is a lower bound for x two and x three, right? So what I've got I've got x two on the horizontal, x three on the vertical. And then we've got this cutoff boundary, right? X2 equal to X3, right here. 
we've already chosen we've already chosen an x1 positive so that's what I've done here this guy right x2 equal to x1 x2 has got to be bigger than or equal to x1 so we got to go this way x3 has got to be bigger and equal to x1 we got to go that way right so we have to be above this boundary here and then in addition we have to be above this boundary here so that tells us that we have to integrate over this region right here we have to integrate up there and there's two different ways to describe that region all right so let me first pick an x2 right remember here's x1 this is the value for x1 I gotta pick an x2 above pick an x2 larger so I'm gonna do that all right then I look at all my range range of x3s and that gives us our limits for x3 Right. So x2 is everything from x1 to infinity. And an x3 is everything from x2 to infinity. And this should look familiar. Um, notice what we did on the previous page. We had x1 positive, x2 goes from x1 to infinity, x3 goes from x2 to infinity. All right. So that's that's just a graphical sketch of what we did on the previous page. Now let's look. That's not the only way to think about it. Let's think about it this way. Let's pick x3 first. Well, again. This is x3 equal to x1, so I gotta pick an x3 above x1. So I'll do that. So that gives me us these limits. X3 is everything from x1 to infinity. Then we can pick uh, x2. Right, so I draw a horizontal. These can be my limits for x2. x2 is everything in between here. x2 has to go from x1 to x3. All right. Either one of these should work. Just remember that sometimes one of the integrations is going to be easier. Is sometimes going to be easier than the other one. Okay, so let's see. Um, what we got. So now we're, we're ready uh, to start computing this thing. Uh, start setting this guy up. Right? And I'll do the red one in red. Right? Uh, so we have double integral. Remember we picked x2 first. So that'll be your out one, outside one. x2 goes from x1 to infinity and then we did x3 so that goes inside x3 goes from x2 to infinity and then we integrate our density function all right all right i'll do the other guy in blue just to be consistent and so notice what we got there so again we got a double integral but we chose x3 first. X3 goes from x1 to infinity. And then we chose x2. And x2 goes from x1 to x3. Integrate your density function. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, I just uh, and
And the last bit, just want to remind you what the range space is. All right, there's calculating the density. Where is that density? Remember what the range space was. Uh, we were able to pick any x1 positive, right? So anything x1 greater than or equal to 0. So this will give you your density, or this will give you the same density. Where is that density valid on your range space? And that's it for that one. Have a good one.